This is the reading for day 189 of the year 2022, July 8th, 2022. I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Chronological One-Year Reading Bible. Today's scripture is the book of Psalms. Psalm chapter 98, starting at verse 1. Heading, a psalm. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful deeds. His right hand has won a mighty victory. His holy arm has shown his saving power. The Lord has announced his victory and has revealed his righteousness to every nation. He has remembered his promise to love and be faithful to Israel. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Sing your praise to the Lord with a harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the ram's horn. Make a joyful symphony before the Lord, the King. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the earth and all living things join in. Let the rivers clap their hands in glee. Let the hills sing out their songs of joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with justice and the nations with fairness. Psalm chapter 99, starting at verse 1. The Lord is King. Let the nations tremble. He sits on his throne between the cherubim. Let the whole earth quake. The Lord sits in majesty in Jerusalem, exalted above all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. Your name is holy. Mighty King, lover of justice, you have established fairness. You have acted with justice and righteousness throughout Israel. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow low before his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also called on his name. They cried to the Lord for help, and he answered them. He spoke to Israel from the pillar of a cloud, and they followed the laws and decrees he gave them. O Lord our God, you answered them. You were a forgiving God to them, but you punished them when they went wrong. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain in Jerusalem, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalm 100, starting at verse 1, heading, a psalm of thanksgiving. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever. And his faithfulness continues to each generation. Psalm 102, starting at verse 1. Heading, A Prayer of the One Overwhelmed with Trouble. Pouring out problems before the Lord. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my plea. Don't turn away from me in my time of distress. Bend down to listen and answer me quickly when I call to you. For my days disappear like smoke and my bones burn like red hot coals. My heart is sick, withered by grass, and I have lost my appetite. Because of my groaning, I am reduced to skin and bones. I am like an owl in the desert, like a little owl in a far-off wilderness. I lie awake, lonely as a solitude bird on the roof. My enemies taunt me day after day. They mock and curse me. I eat ashes for food. My tears run down into my drink because of your anger and wrath. For you have picked me up and thrown me out. My life passes as swiftly as the evening shadows. I am withering away like grass. But you, O Lord, will sit on your throne forever. Your fame will endure to every generation. You will arise and have mercy on Jerusalem, and now is the time to pity her. Now is the time you promise to help. For your people love every stone in her walls and cherish even the dust on her streets. Then the nations will tremble before the Lord. The kings of the earth will tremble before his glory. For the Lord will rebuild Jerusalem. He will appear in his glory. He will listen to the prayers of the destitute. He will not reject their pleas. Let this be recorded for the future generations so that a people not yet born will praise the Lord. 
Tell them the Lord looked down from his heavenly sanctuary. He looked down to earth from heaven to hear the groans of the prisoners, to release those condemned to die. And so the Lord's fame will be celebrated in Zion, his praises in Jerusalem, when multitudes gather together and kingdoms come to worship the Lord. He broke my strength in midlife, cutting short my days. But I cried to him, O oh my God, who lives forever, don't take my life while I'm so young. Long ago you laid the foundation of the earth and made the heavens with your hands. They will perish, but you remain forever. They will wear out like old clothing. You will change them like a garment and discard them. But you are always the same. You will live forever. The children of your people will live in security. Their children's children will thrive in your presence. Psalm 104, starting at verse 1. Let all that I am praise the Lord. O Lord my God, how great you are! You are robed with honor and majesty. You are dressed in a robe of light. You stretch out the starry curtain of the heavens. You lay out the rafters of your home in the rain clouds. You make the clouds your chariot. You ride upon the wings of the wind. The winds are your messengers. Flames of fire are your servants. You place the world on its foundation so it would never be moved. You clothed the earth with floods of water, water that covered even the mountains. At your command, the water fled. At the sound of your thunder, it hurried away. Mountains rose and valleys sank to the levels you decreed. Then you set a firm boundary for the seas, so they would never again cover the earth. You make springs pour water into the ravines, so streams gush down from the mountains. They provide water for all the animals, and the wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds nest beside the streams and sing among the branches of the trees. You send rain on the mountains from your heavenly home, and you fill the earth with the fruit of your labor. You cause grass to grow for the livestock and plants for people to use. You allow them to produce food from the earth, wine to make them glad, olive oil to soothe their skin and bread to give them strength. The trees of the Lord are well cared for, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. There the birds make their nests and the storks make their homes in the cypresses. High in the mountains live the wild goats and the rocks form a refuge for the hyraxes. You made the moon to mark the seasons and the sun knows when to set. You send the darkness and it becomes night when all the forest animals prowl about. Then the young lions roar for their prey, stalking the food provided by God. At dawn, they slink back into their dens to rest. Then people go off to their work where they labor until evening. O oh Lord, what a variety of things you have made. In wisdom, you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the ocean, vast and wide, teeming with life of every kind, both large and small. See the ship sailing along, the Leviathan, which you made to play in the sea. They all depend on you to give them food as they need it. When you supply it, they gather it. You open your hand to feed them, and they are richly satisfied. But if you turn away from them, they panic. When you take away their breath, they die and turn again to dust. When you give them your breath, life is created and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord continue forever. The Lord takes pleasure in all he has made. The earth trembles at his glance. The mountains smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God to my last breath. May all my thoughts be pleasing to, to him. For I rejoice in the Lord. Let all sinners vanish from the face of the earth. Let the wicked disappear forever. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That is the reading for day 189 of the year 2022. God bless each and every one of you. And may God be with you until we meet again.